hated to cook until we got into this type of thing. And now I'm constantly trying new recipes. Susan um, Cole hated the confines of cooking in a kitchen until she discovered cooking in the great wide open. I'm not a, a passionate cook. I'm a passionate chuck wagon cook. I do love what we're doing out here. What they do out here at this annual chuck wagon cook-off competition is compete with other modern day chuck wagon cooks. Their mission? To whip up some tasty vittles the way the old timers used to. All the food you're about to see has to be made from scratch, but what is really neat you will not see a food processor, you will not see a blender anywhere in the place because all the tools and these that they have to use come from the late 1880s when the cattle drives were all the rage. We use the cast iron Dutch ovens. That's what they carried on the trail. The wood is mesquite and mesquite tends to, to cook at a, a good temperature for us. It's not too hot, um, but then if you get pine or something, it doesn't work at all because it doesn't make coals. We need something that makes coals. All right, I got my old-fashioned spoon from the, I don't know, 1890s. I have an appetite, and I'm going to walk around this chuck wagon camp, and I'm going to taste the grub. So how are you? I'm great. All right, Come can I just in. dig have on a, in? Have a taste. This looks good. Oh, my god. OK, so what do we got here? Looks like we've got some beef and some onions. Beef. Onions, celery, corn, potatoes, carrots, mm. and plenty of hot. Oh, that's nice. Mm. <laughs> that's good. Meat's tender. Good. good. Mm. That's what we like to hear. Hearty meal. I like it. Good Thank stuff. You. Thank you very much. Thank We're going to move good. on. Can I take my spoon with me and my meat? Fantastic. Let's go. So what drives these old cooking souls to hitch up their chuck wagons and travel around the country to cook the old-fashioned way? I've been doing this for probably 16, 17 years, and uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy meeting the people and going to different parts of the country. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't look really appetizing. Yes. It looks like mushrooms. Beef, onions, and potatoes. Did you put mud in there? Sneak up on it, it'll be okay. Ooh, ooh, wow. You know, I am starting to think that cowboys eating food made from scratch al fresco at home on the range was and still is the way to go. If you play your wagons right, you could even get dessert. Check out this bread pudding made in a Dutch oven. Coming up a little later in the show, we'll get a lesson in how to make biscuits the cowboy way.